All right, we are looking at unit 22, day three. We're working on organization. Our detail that we're working on is choose the best way to organize your writing. So now we're gonna look at letter A. The directions for letter A say this. The sentence in this paragraph are out of order. Which would be the best way to reorganize it? Check the box. So follow along as I read the paragraph below. The horn shark and the leopard shark both live off the Pacific coast. The horn shark is smaller than the leopard shark. The leopard shark has spots that look like a leopard's fur. The horn shark grows up to only three feet long. The horn shark was named for the large spines on its fin. The leopard shark grows up to six feet. Now let's think for a minute. Is this paragraph easy to follow? No. So we need to decide how this paragraph should be reorganized. So the question we need to ask ourselves is, what is this paragraph doing? Think about what this paragraph is doing. This paragraph is telling how a horn shark and a leopard shark are alike and different. So we are comparing and contrasting a horn shark and a leopard shark. So now we need to think, how should we reorganize the details? Here are our options. The first one is group ideas and details together. The second one, put steps in the right order. The third one, group things by how they are alike and different or the fourth one, write a beginning, middle, and ending. Place a check mark in the box of the organization method you think is correct. If you put your check mark in the third box for group things by how they are alike and different, you are correct. Let's go to activity B. Which organizer do we often use when we compare and contrast? You're right, a Venn diagram. Let's read the instructions for letter B. Draw a graphic organizer to help you reorganize the paragraph above. Write the details from the paragraph in your graphic organizer. Pause the video and make your graphic organizer. All right, you should have your graphic organizer. On the left side, I want you to write horn shark. On the right side, you're going to write leopard shark. And in the middle, you're going to write both. Now we have to look at our details. How are the horn shark and the leopard shark the same? In the middle, you should write, they both live off the Pacific coast. That's how they're the same. Now let's look at the horn shark. What is different from the horn shark than the leopard shark? The horn shark grows up to three feet, so you should have that on the horn shark side. Now let's hop over to the leopard shark side. How big do leopard sharks get? Yes, they grow up to six feet. You should have six feet on the right hand side. Now let's go back to the horn shark. The horn shark has large spines on its fin. That's what you should write on the left side. Then on the right side for the leopard shark, what does the leopard shark have? Yes, the leopard shark has spots that look like a leopard's fur. Now you have your graphic organizer for comparing and contrasting horn shark and leopard sharks.